I was downstairs wrestling. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You re so, um, I'm upstairs. I'm at my desk. I was downstairs wrestling. Wrestling. I was wrestling. Downstairs <laughs> resting. Um, but my husband is working from home. He has his laptop and his, you know, work laptop or whatever. Um, we went and got that yesterday. So, well, while it was off site. Anyways, off hours. I don't want anybody to think he's going to work with COVID because that's not the case. Um, he is working from home. So he is downstairs on a meeting. And um, he recently got promoted to a higher position. So congratulations to my husband. Um, yep, he got this. This will be promotion two in less than a year uh, because he really is that guy he really is a really really good um employee so i'm glad that he really wanted this position as well so with that comes lots and lots and lots of meetings so <laughs> international meetings important meetings so me being the good wife that i am instead of having the tv in the background i said i would come on upstairs and watch tv upstairs and i would do some work myself so i actually have an exam to take you have been assigned three assessments. Great. So, um, is it three or is it one? Child, I don't know. This part, one part says three, this other part says one. Um, which one came first? Oh, shit. Anyways, I'm about to see. Um, I have some assessments to do. So, I'm at least going to do one. They might get one out of me today yeah one out of me today so that's what i'm about to do 7 15. hello you guys hello 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 so uh i just got back from driving over an hour from a facility after i woke up at six this morning so that i could be to the facility at 8 4 5 for orientation and basically it was a bunch of disorganization the facility said they didn't have any orientation today um, they also tried to threaten me and say they weren't gonna pay me but we know that's not gonna happen because agencies are gonna pay me I don't care whose pockets it comes out of I'm getting paid inconvenience pay uh, so <sighs> basically canceled on my first day yeah canceled on my first day um and this video you know it's quick but it's just gonna be a little quick note to you guys and i know i say it a lot on my channel and i know i just keep on repeating it but this is why you have to have your eggs spread out because these facilities do not care like they just don't care about inconveniencing um a aide or a nurse you know an aide or a nurse they just don't care they want to do what they want to do how they want to do it and my philosophy is if that's what y'all gonna do then that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna follow the laws and i'm gonna follow my scope of practice but it, when it comes to scheduling picking a facility going to places that i'm gonna do what i want to do um because these places they just come up with their own rules and then they put the absolute rudest people at the front desk. I understand that you've been there, Carol, for 30 years. I don't care. <laughs> like, I do not care. Um, just because you've been at the front desk for 30 years doesn't mean you get to be rude to people. Find me somebody else to talk to. <laughs> Move around. Um, and you want us as the LPNs and the CNAs to come and help your facility with staffing yet one you put the put the rudest person as the first point of contact and then you guys are all disorganized like it's not my fault you didn't get an email from the agency i don't have nothing to do with that it's not my fault that the agency didn't tell you such and such, such i don't have nothing to do with that 
You know what I mean? I have my email. I have my proof that I was supposed to be here at 9. And if y'all don't have it together, I don't know what to tell you besides, okay, bye. I'm going to get paid my four hours anyways. So, long story short, I'm back home. Um, you know, I'll still get paid for half a day. So, I'm not really, you know, that upset about it. You know, I think orientation was only six hours anyway. So, I lost two hours. But, you know, no big deal. I'm not going to stress over it. Because tomorrow, another facility, another agency, I'm sorry, not a facility, another agency, is having a bonus deal. Where if you work four shifts with this agency in one week, you get an extra $250. And you can do that every week for the next three weeks until the end of the year. So that would be $750 extra that you would make in a three-week period. Um, which doesn't seem like a whole, whole lot. But $250, let me see here. <sighs> I can't do math in my head, but uh, tell me why. Okay, so... Yeah, that's, that's pretty much like almost a day's work of pay. Um, so pretty much you work for four days, but you get paid for five, if that makes sense, if you want to look at it that way. Um, so, yeah. And then you can spend your other three days or your other two days or your other one day, you can go work somewhere else and get a bonus pay, you know, and then you'll have extra money that way. So I'll be doing the 4 for 4. It's called the 4 for 4, which I just think that's that's funny. But it's the 4 for 4 this week. So I'm going to be doing the 4 for 4 this week uh, with this certain agency so that I can get the extra 250 And depending on how it goes, I may do it next week and I may do it the week after so I can get the full 750 We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, I don't know if I told you guys. I don't know if I told you guys, but the hub is positive. I'm putting his business all out in the street. I got his permission. You should be getting people's permission before you come on here and tell if they're positive or negative. Like, I've been seeing so many YouTubers that be like, oh, so-and-so YouTuber is positive. Oh, my son is positive. Oh, my baby daddy test positive. Did you ask for their permission to tell people that? I don't know. Anyways, the hub is positive. He's, you know, positive for you know what. So... At this point, it's probably inevitable that I'm going to ca going to catch it. <sighs> it's probably inevitable. So, um, if everything goes well this week, meaning I continue to stay negative, I tested again negative yesterday. I tested negative two days prior to that. So as of right now, I'm testing negative. Um, so as long as I continue to test negative, I feel fine that I can go to work and. You know, everybody's saying I can go to work. I don't have to quarantine. Those rules are no, no longer part of it. But life is life. And, you know, it, this is just a part of life. So anyways, but I just wanted to quickly come on and say, you know, I'm still traveling. I'm still doing assignments. I'm still out here LPNing. <laughs> um, but days like this do happen. Things like this do happen. And it's okay because I'm going to get paid for the full hours. It's all right. Um, am I going to go back there? They said I was clear, but I, 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 I don't like disorganization when it comes to facilities and agencies. It irritates my soul because I feel like once I get on the unit, shit is going to be disorganized. And I don't like that. You know what I mean? Plus, I don't like their delivery, how they acted this morning. Like, it was me. First, they tried to say I was late. I got there at 8.50. My email says be there at 9. I got there at 8.45, but she did, there were some people ahead of me. The front desk lady was so rude, talking about, huh, it doesn't matter what that says. Orientation starts at 8.30. Lady, <laughs> go find me somebody else to talk to. Because I know you can't be the only person in the building. She's an old white lady, too. An old white lady. Um, Orientation starts at 8.30. My email, my app, my everything that I've been sent says 9. Stinking bitch. <laughs> anyway, so... So after that whole fiasco and they wind up sending me home or whatever, saying they didn't have orientation, they act like they don't know where it came from. What's this? Blah, blah, blah. I just came on, drove, got some breakfast, stopped, got some breakfast and came on home. Um, but, you know, I don't know if I'm going to go pick up. They did offer for me to pick up, I think this weekend or next weekend or something she was telling me about. Or then she wanted me to call her and not pick up in the app, which is also a red flag, people. 
if the facility offers for you to go straight through them and not pick up in the app, do not do it. Please don't do it. Please don't do it because when you do that, you don't have confirmation from the app. And I have seen it or been told that you will not get paid if you schedule. And that's how the facilities try to get you sometimes. Oh, well, like say you go show up, you schedule through the scheduler. You don't put it in the app. You don't confirm with your agency. The scheduler just tells you, hey, can you come in tomorrow at 11? You come on in and then something goes down. You weren't supposed to be there anyways because the agency knows nothing about it. You're going to call the agency and say, hey, such and such happened. And the agency is going to say, why are you there? You weren't supposed to be there. Why are you there? You're not supposed to be there. We don't see you on the schedule. You know, so many things that can happen. So my advice is to always go through your agency. Even if you don't see the, the shift in the app, but the facility is telling you that that shift is available, call the agency and say, hey, the company wants or the facility wants me to come in at 11 o'clock today. I'm just letting you guys know. And they will put a note in and they'll put it in. Or they'll send it to you in the system, in the app, so that you can click on it and confirm it. I'm just giving you all some gems. Just giving you all some gems. So, you know, just, you know, cover your ass. <laughs> but um, that is today's vlog. That's today's vlog. Just a quick little note and just a quick little reminder to make sure that you guys have multiple eggs and multiple baskets. Do not just depend on one facility in one app have multiple apps have multiple agencies have multiple everything <laughs> okay be clear through multiple multiple uh different routes and everything and i talk a lot about this on my one-on-ones i help out with getting your profile ready your resume healthcare ready all kinds of things this is why the website is so impertinent and so important if you want to invest in yourself if you don't know about these things you can just go to the website choose the plan that's best for you and then I can help you out along the way. And the website is nurseshayconsulting.com. You can go there anytime and check it out. In the meantime, I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You're